Howdy folks, it's a child turtle here and welcome back to X-Plane 11. We are continuing the second part of our flight, which is from Fargo back to Duluth, Minnesota in very stormy, snowy weather. We just passed top of descent, so we're coming down now. And the VOR is locked on, so it's making us S-curve around just to get to this little shift over. If you're wondering what we're doing, we're heading towards the VOR Duluth VOR. We're going to do a 15 knock mile arc approach in runway 27 unless the weather has changed. We've reached top of descent. We're descending nicely. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. We need, though, to see if we can get our destination weather. So here's the map. It's not quite on there yet. We're going to come down this way and fly over here. So we just have to wait. So that means you get some sightseeing while I control the rate of descent, and I'll catch you in a moment. And welcome back. Just in time for the weather to update. Alright, time to check in. We need to do a few things. We need to put the ILS in the radio to get ready for it. 108.7. There we go. And that'll be a course of 273 for runway 27 when we need it. Otherwise, we're just going to do an arc. Once we start the arc, we'll just use the ME2 for 15 knot miles. And we'll use this to point at it. And then we'll switch over our course. Radio 1. So there we are. We are turning now towards Duluth. The VOR 75 miles away. We're 13,000 feet up. And um, we'll slow down to 250 by 10,000 feet. And then we'll reassess if we need to come down faster or not. I feel like we're ahead of schedule, even though the calculation says to, but whatever. Um, what else do we need to do? We need to see if we can get our destination weather yet. No, don't know what that is. Um, it's not. Oh, is it here? Here it is. There we go. Good. All right. I'm sure there's an ATIS here. And ATIS is one two four one. One two four one. Alrighty. And we're flying towards this VOR. Then we'll come out. We'll swing out. We get it 15 miles like this. And then we'll do our arc. So what was that? One two four one. I think I said it should be ordained from last time. It's not. One, two, four, one. But can we pick it up is the question. Not yet. So let's double check the frequency. Pretty sure that's what it was. One, two, four, one. Okay. So we'll just wait for that to pick up. I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping. It's um, Remedy 27 still. So that's it. I'm going to recalculate our descent. Actually, well, no, I'm not because we're going to slow down to 250 pretty soon. So I really don't care about our descent and speed at the moment. We're going to stay where we are. Yep. Our um, temperature gauge never worked. So I don't know if that's a 11.41 problem or just something broke today. Because I know there are failures. Whoa. Um, what? Why is the airplane all wonky? Let's go back to heading bug, please. 
And let's just use heading because our autopilot just went wonky on us. That's happened before many times. So we'll just use this to point out the DVR or the VOR. You want to point at it though at about 90 degrees. Well, it doesn't really matter if we're a little north of it. It doesn't matter. Um, I start slowing down now to 250 because that's the speed limit. So bring the throttles. And there we go. That will slow us down to 250. Let's use some spoilers so we don't ascend. Spoiler view. There we go. Spoilers back in and armed while we're at it. Set this to max while we're at it. Everything else is fine. Let's get all of our lights on now anyway. We're still waiting for the ATIS to kick in and tell us. Confirm. What the heck? Confirm runway 27 as well as... Um, the weather for a barometer. So that's all we need now, right? Let me double check. Um, weather we're waiting on. Taxi lights on, auto brakes armed, spoilers armed. Just flaps and gear. And then it'll be um, whatever the flags say, plus five plus gusts. The gusts are like 30, so we're going to go, we're going to land very, very fast. This is another example where we're going to land really hot, bring back th our approach very hot. There's your ATIS. Bring back throttles. Let it settle down on its own. Long down the runway, just because of the gusts. All right, I can't read this. Um, altimeter, 29 or 9 or 9 or? Okay. Two nine or 9 or 9 or. There we go. All right, runway 27. There we go. We have Mike. Runway 27. If it weren't, I'd be shocked. All right, so all we're doing now is we're descending. We're going to keep an eye on this, do a 50 knock mile arc. We're 10 grand. Let's not descend this quickly. Um, we'll slow down to 200 once we start the arc. We need to do the arc at 3200. So we're coming down too fast. So let's increase some throttle so we don't come down so quickly. I'm going to recalculate top of descent. All right, do one and a half miles per minute, or one and a half miles per 15 seconds. So that's four, five, six miles per minute. So if we come down 1,000 feet per minute, that's 6,000 feet. Six times, that's six miles. I did that backwards. Six miles per minute, 1,000 feet per minute. Means we got to come down 7,000. So that's seven times six is 30 something. 42. So we're exactly on schedule. Bam. Nice. Come down 1,000 feet per minute. We're exactly on schedule. How crazy is that? Good. Nothing to do now until we get to 3,200 feet and um, 50 knock mile arc, which we'll use the heading bug for, which we're already using. So we'll use this to keep a track where it is. We we'll use this to say 15 nautical miles. In fact, since we're using heading bug, we can put ILS over here now. 108.70. There we go. It'll kick in when it's ready. Um, that's already on there. Perfect. Wow, this is working out well. Hopefully the landing will match. Those winds are insane. Alrighty, so setting up here, we want to do landing 30 on the flaps, which is 5 o'clock right down here. Right there, 30 flaps at 112. Set the bugs, however... However... We need five plus gusts. Gusts are 20. So that puts us down here. We're going to approach about here and come over the runway and kill throttles and let it put itself down. We'll land about halfway down the runway, but that's okay. This plane can land with hardly any runway at all. And we have all these gusts and crazy things. Now the wind is coming from 310 or so. So um, we're landing 27. So it's going to come from the right quite a bit. So crazy crosswind landing. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> see you in a moment.
And just like that, we broke through the clouds. And it's updating for us. That was pretty crazy. The turbulence is absolutely insane. Because you remember now, gusts in the flight sim are represented by a hurricane. <laughs> We're seven miles to go to our arc. And my loss has been picked up, sort of. Um, what's the course we want? 273. Let's set that right now. We want 273. A few more. One more, please. There we go. There's our runway and our course. It's picked up. Awesome. Um, we'll start slowing down in a moment. Actually, let's start slowing down right now. Let's go to 200 or so. Bring back throttles. Make sure the spoilers are armed, and they are. And we're just going to use our heading bug for our arc. We're way too high. Um, we need to be at 3,200 feet in three miles. So bring those spoilers out. And everybody hang on. I have had real life descents like this, so it's nothing too crazy. And we're back in the clouds. Spoiler view. Alright, we're descending like crazy now. We've got one and a half miles to get down to 3,200 feet. That'll be okay. And it is time to get serious here. Oh boy, let's hope after all this that this goes okay. We have done this landing before. There's 15 miles. So let's dart our heading bug to the right. Oh boy. Here we go. Keep that pointed. Well, faster, please, because we're coming on 14 miles. There we go. First set of flaps down. And boilers coming in. There we go. We should level off at 3,200. And are we going to get up to 15? No, we're going down to 13. And look at that yoke because the turbulence is so crazy. And look at that snow. Oh, this is amazing. We need to get away from the VOR yet. A little bit more. We're going to stay at this speed for a while. IS hold is going to kick off any second now. We just have to really manage those flaps in our speed. So this is our only chance to look out. Our only chance to look out the window and take a screenshot. Because after this... I'm going to these over here, by the way. After this, we really got to manage this aircraft. So there you go. Enjoy it. Pause it. Rewind it. We got to get flying. All right. 13 miles. We'll do 13 mile arc. <laughs> then we'll reach 15 in a moment. Okay, here we go. Um, we're leveling off now 3200. IS uh, yes, should kick off. And it will any second now. Any second. And then we got to manage our speed and flaps on our own. So we're going to let the computer take us in as far as possible because of the weather. I'm tempted to let it auto land. We haven't had an auto land. You know, in real life, they have to certify auto land. They're kicked off. And, um, you know, like once a month or something. I can't remember what it is, but... Um, they have to certify auto land. We could just certify it. Although lands is like three quarters on the runway, but we'll see. Maybe we'll do an auto land today. We haven't done an auto land. We've only done one. It was like three years ago or two years ago in version one. Maybe we'll do it. We'll try it. Keeping our speed up a little bit with the throttles. And um, we lost ILS, which is fine. We're doing a 13 out of mile arc. We're about to increase it to 15 miles. Going up to 14 now, finally. What a view. I love it. All right. 14 is going to hit 15 soon. So let's start coming back. It's going to take so long for it to do this. Keeping an eye on it right there. Kind of want to keep it off to the side once we hit 15. The best as we can until we get picked up by the LS. And then we'll do glide slope, auto glide slope. But we have to approach it at 40 degrees or better. and won't pick it up. We're at 3200, which is exactly where we're supposed to be. Everything's exactly the way it's supposed to be. Just a matter of getting a little more distance on that thing. Alright, we're climbing after 14 towards 15. Keep an eye on our speed. We'll get the next set of flaps down in a moment. We want to be around 50 because we're at flaps 10. So we don't want to be much faster than this. Those gusts are making our IS just go nuts. That's crazy. 
Let's start turning it a little bit more. There we go. Very nice. Very cool. All I need to do right now is keep an eye on the heading bug with the DME2 and speed. That's it. The computer's doing everything else. So you just have to tell the computer what to do. Turning in a little more, little by little. And if you want to see what it looks like on the map so far, there it is. See? Is that awesome how that works? Oh, then it refreshes right then and there. Is that so cool? Yes, this is miles. It was supposed to be 15 nautical miles. But I'm not going to do the conversion. It's just a simulator. It's what you make of it. But we're just keeping an eye on it here. Well, keep our speed down. We don't want to go too fast. Did the weather update? We seem so low, but it says 3,200 feet all the way around, and that's what we're doing. So let's keep going. So it's interesting. If I use the flaps exactly based on the flap schedule, our rear end sags a ton. Very interesting. So I gave a little bit more flap. And a lot more throttle. <laughs> I'll be doing on fuel anyway. Yeah, we're tipping back. We're good, but we're tipping back. More speed, please, as we level us off. So it looks like the weather cleared up, but we're still going to do an auto land. Just because we need to be certified. It's been a long time since we've certified this thing. Many years, don't tell anybody. Right, what do we need for flaps? We still need one, two, three more flaps. But that's okay. Alrighty, we're past 15. Let's turn in a little bit more. Keep that right around there, the double arrow. This approach <laughs> has been longer than the entire flight until the approach because of this arc at a nice low speed. I wonder what speed they would use. Is there a speed thing on my chart here? I'm looking for the speed. Sometimes they'll say you must do this speed. I don't see it with a quick glance. I just know that um, it's been taking me forever. What time did you take off? 3.40? It's been 40, yeah, it's been, it'll be about the same flight time. Yeah, let's keep turning in because we're losing, we're getting a little farther than 50 nautical miles. So this is runway orientation, so you can see we're just about to start a long crosswind leg. And pretty soon this will get picked up. And then what will happen is before it starts to move in and we overshoot, when we are, what, let's see, we want to come in at 8.8. .8. What does that fix? I'm looking at my chart. Yeah, so at 8.8 .8 miles, we want to intercept by 8.8 .8 miles or so. So we will be, once we pick this up, we'll turn in more sharply, right? And then be within 40 degrees, so auto glide slow picks it up. Well, we kind of turn in a little sharp there. That's okay, we'll just stay where we are and fly away. Keep our speed, keep everything the way it is, everybody. Read your book. Do whatever it is you're doing. You got a long ways to go yet, even though we're just circling an airport. Again, if you want to see what arc looks like, I know there's some flat spots, but that's when I'm sightseeing. Doesn't mean all the sightseeing made to the video, but this just shows where I was sightseeing is when it gets flat. See, I just did some sightseeing here. So there it is right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep arcing around, and then once the thing starts to move, we're quickly going to use um, the auto glide slope, but we have to come in at a nice angle like this. So I'm just looking at my chart to figure out how you know when that is. Because if we keep it at 15, we're just going to blow right past and have to S curve back in, which is what happened last time we did this. But you get the idea, right? In fact, let's turn in right now because we're starting to go closer to 16. But anyway, you get the idea. So pretty soon we'll turn in and have auto glide slope. Um, 
bring us in in Waterland today. All right, we got a glide slope now, and we have the localizer. So let's start working our way towards the runway heading here. Everything else is going to stay the same. We'll do gear on final. We'll do the last three sets of flaps as we come into final, because that's just going to make us fly dirty and slow us down even more. So keep an eye on our arc here, bringing our way in a little bit. Alrighty, next set of flaps, bring this in because glide slope is ready to go. So we'll do auto glide slope. There it is. And let the computer take over as we keep an eye on our speed. We need two more sets of flaps. We'll wait till we're closer to final. And whoops. And here we go. Keep that speed up because of gusts. Alright, this is moving and it intercepted for us. Look at that. So now we just need to have gear down. Let's do gear animation. We never get to see this because we're usually flying this in. Let's watch the gear come down. Cool, huh? Nice. And watch that speed. It's another set of flaps. And then we need one more set of flaps after this. Just gotta keep an eye on that speed. We're gonna keep it about 140 because of the gusts. And the airplane is gonna land us. It should land us. Airport is a little up and to the left. Somewhere out there. Somewhere out there. <laughs> I don't know where. But anyway, we just have to keep an eye on our speed. That's it. So normally right now, we would still be on autopilot until we get completely lined up and established on the glide slope. Then we would take over and land the last little bit ourselves. But today, because we need to certify and the weather, we're going to auto land. It's been a long time. So that's simple as that. Just watching our speed is all I need to do. That's it. You go too slow though, computer can't help you with that. It does not have auto throttle. So I'm just constantly moving the throttle back and forth, tiny movements, tiny movements. And hopefully the autopilot brings us in. Is, are the winds that bad? Are the winds so bad that we need to be tracking or heading that, but we're actually tracking over there? Let's get our heading bug set just in case. Um, now it's bringing us. Okay, good. That made me nervous for a minute there. No, nope, we're still past it. I don't know. Let's trust it. You know, if it crashes, well, that's the fault of the fault of not being certified, I guess. I mean, I see the runway right there. So we'll see what the computer does. If we have to take over at the last minute, we will. Hopefully we don't have to go around. Establishing on the glide slope, so now just bring back throttle so we don't go too fast. And we'll see how this goes here. Last time I did an auto land in Denver, I think. A long, long, long time ago. We literally landed halfway down the runway. There, you know, we were able to stop and stuff, but we landed halfway down the runway. So let's see what happens here. I'm very curious. Well, keep that speed up. Keep that speed up. Keep it up, keep it up, go, go, go. Yeah, even autopilot's having a hard time in this crazy weather. Now, in real life, with weather that's super bad, you would want to hand fly yourself because it's way, way more comfortable than auto land. But we'll see what happens. Okay, bring your speed back. Throttle's back, so don't go too fast. Wanna keep, so normally we want to approach at that second flag right here then aim for this plus five plus gust well if we do this plus five plus gust or 20 that puts us way up there so it's going to be a rough one if the computer does it or we end up doing it at the last second it's going to be a rough one no matter what such a pretty view oh look at you can see the harbor and park point oh how awesome the lift bridge you have to imagine it the steep hill canal park and superior wisconsin Alrighty, letting the computer do the work in super rough weather. It's getting ready to flare. We're just going to keep our speed exactly where it is. And um, auto brakes are armed. Spoilers are ready to go. It's just a matter of letting the computer do it all. The cops are waiting for some reason. <laughs> I feel guilty not hand landing, especially with this insane weather. But like I said, seven times now? 
We haven't done an auto land in years, so why not? Final looks here. Just gorgeous. Okay, let's bring our speed back a little bit. Yeah, do you see this crazy crosswind? Do you see this? All the computers struggling. Oof. -da. 500. Bringing back throttles a little bit for it. Oh, not that much though. All right. I'm super curious where it's going to put us. I'm ready on the reversers. I'm ready on the rudder pedals. Keep that speed up a little bit. He's going to start his flare. Come on. All right. It looks so weird from this angle. Now is it going to flare? See, great. That's not me. Can't blame me. It's not going to do it. Autopilot's off. We are going to try to land halfway down the runway. 40, 30, 20, 10. Right wing, there we go. It bounced us, didn't it? Well, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. I just did a, I just did a wheelie and a one wheel. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was hard to take over at the last second. Um, with the autopilot screwing us up. The autopilot decided not to. <laughs> so I took over, and I was in a float when I took over. So I landed, crosswind landing, right, right wing down, left rudder. I did that. <laughs> and then it rode on the right main, and then finally the left one came down. <laughs> At least I didn't um, smash the nose wheel. Okay, good recovery. Actually, that was, considering what autopilot was doing to us, that was a really good recovery. Awesome. All right, let's park this thing and get it buttoned up here. Um, what the time on the clock? 44... 49 minutes. One minute longer, including our long approach. That was awesome sauce. I've never said that before. All right, let's slow down. I think we can slow down and let's get off this runway. And let's, um, wood sliding on the ice. I think it models the snow and ice because that was a really difficult turn. Alrighty, let's see here. Oh my gosh, the wind is blowing us. I'm going crazy on the rudder pedals, even though we're at a slow speed. Oh my gosh, this wind is ridiculous. This is one of the things where the doors wouldn't even open in a GA aircraft when the winds are this strong. Alright, let's park and get out of the way and see where we're going to go here. Come on, turn. Oh my goodness. And stop. Stop! It's sliding. Set the parking brake and let's see where we're going. Alright, first thing we need to do is make sure the taxi lights are off and landing lights stay on. This can go to disarm. Auto brakes in. Yeah, I think the auto brake is in, right? It should be. Yeah, flaps are in. Spoilers are in. Presser gauge from ground to for flight back to ground. And I think we're just going to taxi somewhere to the left here. Um, there's this one terminal with like three gates. So you'll see once you get around this corner here. Do you see it up there where the other jets are? That's where we're going. I'll meet you there in a minute. Actually, well, we'll ta while we are taxiing, hopefully the two-part format worked out. I'll just have to see how it goes. Oh, my camera's weird. If we're gonna do these longer flights in two parts or just one long part. Oh my gosh, the wind is blowing me everywhere. I have no control. <laughs> but let's see how it goes. Um, so let me know in the comments do you want long flights split up in two? Or maybe it doesn't matter because then you gotta wait for the rest of it, or you're just watching both at the same time anyway. Okay, this wind is insane. My camera's weird in this view, but the wind is ridiculous. That was crazy. So just let me know. Um, I assume most of you won't have an opinion and tell me that too. All right, going by the Cirrus headquarters. I think they're still headquartered here, aren't they? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to try to get this plane safely to the terminal because this is nuts. Look at this, full left rudder, and the gusts are knocking me all over the place. All right, I'll see you in a moment. All right, there's a terminal there, so let's see. We can park this thing with my weird camera issue. Thing. Let me actually use a different camera angle and see if that helps. Alrighty, here we go. 
slow down and everybody's parked in the way how am I supposed to what I guess we have to come from the other side okay I see that makes sense kind of have to make a sharp turn here whoa you see that this wind is crazy just crazy We are shaking, the snow is shaking, everything is shaking in this crazy weather, but that's okay because that makes it a lot of fun. Now we're getting blown over to, <laughs> getting blown over to the thing. Oh my goodness, we're going to do this as best, excuse me, as best as we can. I'm all choked up, this is so exciting. Whoever thought this would be so exciting. And that should about do it. And there we go. Come in here and set the parking brake. <sighs> oh my gosh, we're still getting blown around. Look, parking brake is set, and look at it. Look at it, we're getting blown around. It's so windy. Will the air stairs open? I'm just curious. Oh yeah, they will. Look at that, we were on the line, and now look at it. We got blown away. <laughs> Jeez. All right, taxi lights can come off. And we're not using the APU because we're at the terminal, so we'll use a GPU and air cart, though. And that means we can come over here and do external power. And we can cut off the fuel. One, two, three. Turn off all the outside lights. Of course, we'll keep the logo light on. Oh, how'd that get reset? Huh, interesting. Oh, I know why. I checked a replay on something, and it screwed it up. And we'll keep the logo on. Battery off. Boom. And seatbelt light can come off. And we can turn off anything we want. We can play with the fuel switches if we want to. We can play with the hydraulics if we want to. We can screw with this stuff. Like that doesn't matter. That's external power. Um, we can do whatever we want. We're not going to. We're just going to hop outside where it's cold and windy. Well, thank you for flying American, everybody, with the tall turtle lizard pilot and co pilot and engineer. <laughs> I very much enjoyed this flight. Um, the Autoland was interesting that it gave up, but we did a good job recovering. Ended up being a little rougher than it needed to be, but that's okay. We got to land in a storm with insane gusts. Gorgeous cloud overcast scenery on the way. All right, we're going to do a GA flight next, and then I'm going to do another short flight on one of these probably. If you have any flights suggested, leave them in the comments below. I'm going to prepare for a little tiny, a little flight somewhere. You're going to like it, I think. And um, anticipate that, and I'll catch you next time.